Super Smash Ultimate in 2019, and everyone was like, You'll never see it coming! No This smooth, silky nerd is the main character from Persona 5, a stylish turn-based JRPG created by Atlas and that was met with critical praise upon release. You may ask yourself why this anime leather heathen that makes overweight loudmouths bust a lung live on stream was picked to be a Smash Ultimate DLC character since mainline Persona games have been held hostage by Sony for years. But the answer is rather simple. Sakurai had a loud love affair with Persona 5 during the 1,000 hours it took to beat it, and Atlas has made critically praised exclusives for Nintendo in the past that no one cares about. So with enough connections and favoritism, here we are with Joker, a high schooler by day and leader of the dimension-jumping Phantom Thieves by night, who use their mysterious powers to steal hearts filled with twisted desires to make the world a better place by basically brainwashing people. And it seems he has his sights set on the real criminals. But anyway, if you're new to Joker, here is the total lowdown for people who don't know sh** about this Smash Ultimate Challenger Pack. So Ren, codenamed Joker, is a 5'9", 16-year-old who can only speak about seven words, who was picked by the big nose forces from beyond to be society's little magical rascal. Being a thief and fashion icon, Joker wears a long black coat and mask to help conceal his identity as a normal high school student that secretly wants to overthrow the government. So Smash Ultimate has given Joker a selection of skins to make your time on the battlefield more colorful and sexy. You have Joker's classic trademark copyright all rights reserved black phantom thief attire, a purple tinted skin if the black ain't frisky enough for ya, a full on blue getup when you want to key out his jacket for something a little more interesting, the pea flavored one, a pre blood stained skin so you don't have to go to the dry cleaners after, your boyfriend's cosplay, and Joker's high school uniform in both black and white which conveniently also changes his weapon to something a little more appropriate. <laughs> Now it seems these skins in particular were inspired by all the previous Persona titles color themes. You got Persona 4 with the yellow, Persona 3 with the blue, and that's it! Now Joker is only able to do the things he does because of the manifestations of his inner self, his personas. The first being known as Arsene, a bird man in the top hat that can shoot fire and won't hesitate to kill a child. Of course, Joker does not act alone. On top of his phantom thieves friends, he has a humanoid cat sidekick named Morgana that will join Joker in his taunts to show you he means business and to make sure you're not staying up too late. But with Joker's soft skin, sharp looks, demonic entities, and fuzzy feline father figure, you'll be able to dominate the field with style and rated M material. Plus you killed a child. Amazing, mission complete. But Joker is more than just the pretty face because he's got moves that'll make you go. Literally. True to his Phantom Thief lifestyle from his adventures in the metaverse, Joker's weapon of choice is a long knife and a gun. Now, his moveset involves using shots, slashes, and his persona Arsene to bully people into giving you their lunch money. Get me! But his total move list includes a gun as gun, which you can combine with jumps for an over-the-head spin attack, allowing you to make shot montages to your favorite songs. And then there's Aha, a spicy projectile that bursts and causes damage over time, so just one snap can cause some serious carnage. A grapple, which can be used to grab opponents from afar or platforms in case you slide right off the thing, you slippery son of a bitch. And then there's Rebel's Guard, a way to defend and reduce damage taken, which also helps fill up your Rebellion's Gauge that summons your Persona Arsene when full. Hi, sisters. Now, when Arsene is summoned, your bullets go blue with power and Aha hits harder and lasts longer. Arsene can also counterattack when guarding, since he's a very no touchy feeling kind of guy. And instead of the grappling hook, you get Wings of Rebellion, allowing you to whoosh your way out of danger and die bomb I'm right into death's sweet embrace. <laughs> Of course, when it comes to his standard attacks, you can slide, kick, stab, uppercut, and bash using your knife. Now, these attacks don't have a ton of range, but if you manage to hit someone with a charge attack, then they will definitely feel it in the morning. But assuming you string together all of Joker's moves while building your Rebellion's Gauge, you will be fancy shooting and slashing your way to number one, baby. Take your heart, more like take your life. Oh! I've been fallen! But of course, who could forget the ultra slam jam move that you'll never see coming? Joker's final smash. Once high on rainbow fuel, anyone parallel to you will be caught in an all-out attack. This is a move used in Persona 5 with all of your pals to finish off your enemies because talking is overrated. A combination of flashy aesthetics, silhouettes, and cornea burning red, you wail on your foes until they burst into glitter and not blood because Smash is rated T, damn it. all while Joker smiles pretty for the camera. Now, I'd love to give you all tips on how to actually utilize Joker to the fullest so you can make your friends rage quit. 
but sadly, I am what the kids call bad. So instead, I'ma stay in my lane when it comes to gameplay advice, since Smash and I have only made awkward eye contact until recently. But if you actually want to know how to play like a pro, links down below, alright? I am not the person to come to for this. But his moveset is very fun, very slippery, and very broken, according to influencers. Now, assuming you T-pose on everyone with ease, your victory screen will resemble the battle result sequence from Persona 5. But instead of showing the amount of money, XP, and items collected, you smugly run in circles until your mom's clapping gets more passive-aggressive. But Persona is more than just a single character. The Challenger Pack also includes a new stage called Mementos, which is based off of the labyrinth-like dungeon by the same name in Persona 5. A dark, mysterious place where the Phantom Thieves help the Shibuya residents work through their twisted heart's desires, normally through intense shank therapy. But now Mementos is in Smash, packed to the brim with unique hazards, patterns, chains, veins, and a wheelchair ramp for those kids' broken legs. The stage also includes some of the other Phantom Thieves who will just stand in the background cheering while the yoga instructor sprays her zen all over the place. It's fine. It doesn't do What? Oh, your toe got me! <laughs> now, new music also comes with this challenger pack. Selected from the Persona 5 original soundtrack is the standard battle theme, Last Surprise, a new upbeat remix of the somber Beneath the Mask, which I officially deem a f***ing bop, the iconic Scandalous, Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There, everyone's favorite boss theme, River in the Desert, and Our Beginning, the one you won't ever pick willingly. But that's not all. This DLC also includes Reach Out for the Truth, Time to Make History, and I'll Face Myself for from Persona 4, along with Battle Hymn of the Souls, A Rise of the Souls new arrangement, and Song of a Generation from Persona 3. Now here's a cool thing, depending on the selected music track, the memento stage will change to that game's color theme. So if you're not feeling all of the red, flip on some Persona 4 tunes and watch everyone swim in that mustard. The tracks also affect the color of Joker's victory screen, but with the added touch of playing the after battle theme from the corresponding game. Now that's what I call thorough. Be careful. I sense death. Excuse me? But if these standard Smash battles aren't scratching that itch, then you can take your skills to the spirit boards, where you can engage in unique battles with special rules to collect spirits from Persona 5. These include all of the Phantom Thieves and the rehabilitation entities Caroline and Justine, along with their master Igor, who helped guide Joker through his journey. While being humiliated by the loudmouth blind bit in the spirit fights, though, you battle challengers from the existing roster, which best captures the essence of each Phantom Thief, such as Futaba, where you fight Fish Futaba. Now, now, if you don't feel like fighting these things, because lord knows I f***ing don't, you can now buy spirits from the vault shop with the in-game currency. So for all you crazy collecting types out there, life just got a little bit easier. And last but not least, if you are willing to dish out some real mega monies on the eShop, you can now download customizable items for the Mii Fighter so you can make Hunk Daddy You from Persona 4 and MCR Enthusiast Monado from Persona 3. Both are the stoic high school protagonists of their respected stories who have definitely seen better days, good god. But if you have a fondness for these absolute units, you can now recreate your Persona power fantasies whenever you like. More! More! <laughs> And that about wraps up all of the Persona content available for Smash Ultimate. Persona 5 being included in Smash is a very surreal sight, but this character pack really went the extra mile, capturing all of the iconic Persona 5 visuals and personality to a T, along with Persona 3 and 4 extras that just make this DLC a real treat. But this elaborate collab has helped spread the Persona brand even more, solidifying the series' mainstream status and making the Smash Challenger scope more broad. Broad enough for Sora to be in Smash one day, please, Nintendo. I swear to God, I am begging you. But if you are a fan of Smash and haven't played Persona yet, I highly recommend you give it a shot because, hey, Sakurai thinks it's pretty neat. What's up with that? Watch Persona 5 for beginners, you pencil necks. But anyway, the Joker Challenger Pack is available on the Nintendo eShop for $5.99 USD, or it is included in the $25 Challenger Season Pass in case you want to get all the future packs. But I hope this basic rundown helps give the Persona content more context to make your gaming experience a little better. So please, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And cue the brand new end credits. Yes, everybody, aren't they so lovely, so beautiful? I want to give a special thank you to my girlfriend, Milk Girl, for helping me create the new credits. Don't they look great? I think they're lovely. I've had the old credits for actual years, and I thought now would be a good, good time for an upgrade, so here they are. I guess while we're on thank yous, I want to give a big thank you to Forever KT for basically co-writing this entire video with me. And for those who do not know, KT does have his own YouTube channel, so if you want to see more videos kind of like mine, then you should totally check him out because 
because he helps a ton with these videos. So thank you, KT, very much. But of course, the biggest thanks of all, the people who keep this channel alive, keep me warm and healthy, my lovely Patreons. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Rather be hanging out with me in my Discord and helping me with some ideas and getting feedback on things or just, you know, giving a few bucks here or there um, each month. It really, really makes a huge difference in my life. So thank you guys so much for everything that you do. You guys are mwah, mwah. And of course, last but not least, this episode's Patreon shout out goes to Buster's Gear, Randy Chani, and Rin Light. Thank you guys so much for your support. And don't forget that you'll never see it coming. Other than that though, guys, thank you. If you want to check out my stuff, links down below. I have a Twitter that I'm very active on. I also stream over on Twitch. So if you want to see me play games like Fresh Out of the Box and Live Reactions, that is the place to go. So yeah, uh, I also have a PO box if you want to send me stuff. I give shout outs at the end of videos and Twitter. I do things online, isn't that something? So yeah, look down below, find something you like and hit the button, gosh dang it. All right, that's it, we're getting out of here. Here, end of the video. Get skadoodle. Bye bye. <laughs>